guys, I'm here to show you tonight um, Joanna Gaines's King Ranch Chicken. Um, we're gonna try it tonight. So the first thing that I did was saute some onions in two tablespoons of oil. And it should look like this. And then I also added um, two cups of chicken broth um, to the mix. And now we're gonna add a can of cream of chicken soup. Sorry, I can't hold and do this all at the same time. So then I'm gonna add that to the mix. And then we're gonna add um, some of the salsa, um, or, uh, salsa verde. And it calls for, um, I think, what was it? 16 ounces. So I have measured that out. The can is bigger, so we're going to add that to the mix. And I just got the El Paso green jelly. And stir that in there. And then we're going to add enchilada sauce, like a red base. And, and add a whole can of that. And I do mild. You can take and decide whatever um, spiciness you would like. My children will not eat if, it, if it's too spicy. And then we are going to add sour cream. It calls for eight ounces. So I have about a half of a container. So I'm going to empty that in there. Put it down again. Okay, and I added that and stirring that in there, and then it calls for some um, paprika. So we need about a tablespoon of paprika. I am terrible, I don't merely measure, so I kind of just sprinkle until I have it. You can put the exact amount of a tablespoon in, and then it also calls for a teaspoon of garlic salt. So I again. I feel like a little garlic extra is not going to hurt anything. Um, and then some salt and pepper. It says a teaspoon of each of those. So again, I kind of just shake. Eh, close enough. Okay. Stir that all up. And then we're going to go ahead and um, bring this to a simmer over a medium heat. And then we're going to stir in the chicken, the chilies, and the tortilla strips, and the cheddar cheese. Oh, I forgot the beans. We also have to add in um, a can of black beans. So, add that in. Knew I was forgetting something. So now we're just gonna go ahead and stir and bring to a nice simmer. And while that's working on that, um, I, um, it asked for rotisserie chicken, but I just decided to take um, a couple of chicken breasts out of my freezer and throw them in my Instapot for about 30 minutes and just get my shredded chicken that way. Mm. 
Okay. Well, that's doing that. Um, it does call for uh, 20 corn tortilla strips cut into three fourths inch strips. So as close as I could get. So there is a 20 of them usually in a package. So I got those all cut up ahead of time. And then um, we did some green chilies. It says that we will need about four ounces. So this is eight ounces or seven ounces or it says two for eight four ounces so eight ounces so this is close enough so I just got that one unfortunately when you order groceries online they substitute for whatever you um for whatever is available so right now we're just gonna make shift it with seven ounces tortilla strips over and then it also calls for four cups four cups of cheddar cheese which is about a pound so two bags of cheese we'll add in also um and then what i did is i you take a 9 by 13 pan and go ahead and just spray it so obviously it doesn't stick um so i got that already also clean up my mess Tiny kitchen, and there's not enough room. Ooh, I see bubbles. I think we're getting close. Um, it also um, says to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 and it'll take about 30 minutes to cook um, with about, they say 10 minutes to let stand. I don't know about any of you, but I don't usually wait that long before I start eating. So um, that is what it recommends with that. And I think we're pretty close to simmering on there. So we're gonna go ahead and add our green chilies. Again, we picked mild. You can pick the heat intensity and intensity that you would like. Entirely up to you. Yeah, we're starting to boil. And then it said for six cups of chicken. So I, my bowl was full. So hold on one second while I get the rest here. So six cups for me was about four um, fairly good sized chicken breasts. So um, like I said, that's however you prefer to do it. Um, like I said, being stuck at home, I've just bought a bunch of chicken breasts and froze them. And so that's what we are using around here for anything with chicken. I might need a bigger. I don't know if this is all gonna fit in my pot. So, heads up. It is a lot to fit in a pot. And I don't even have the tortillas in. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I've added in the chicken, like I said. I hope I have enough room for all the corn, uh, corn tortillas. So I'm going to go ahead and add those in. to maneuver this. I thought the pot was big enough. Well, I was wrong. You need a pretty good sized stock pot. Yeah. 
you could probably if you really wanted to also cut the strips into however you wanted if you wanted to do smaller ones you could also probably do it that way okay so i've added in all the tortilla strips now the only thing left is a pound of cheese so i'm going to add that and i'll show you what that looks like This is very tricky. Trying not to make a huge mess and get it actually stirred up. I've been showing you guys how to do a lot of crock pot and instapot recipes, but this is another fairly easy one that um, can be made on the stove top and then just thrown in the oven and you can make it ahead of time and freeze it and then just take and throw it in the oven obviously the temperature i mean the time for it to cook would obviously change unless you guys got it defrosted but another nice recipe to try at home okay i've got it just barely stand in there um and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and import it into the 9 by 13 pans so i'm gonna go ahead and do that And I would also recommend if you're making this for like two people, you could easily cut this recipe in half. Um, it is gonna make a lot. Nick is going to have, we are gonna have leftovers like crazy. Nick's gonna love that part, but it does make a lot of food. Um, so it barely fits in a nine by 13 pan also. And then the last thing you have to do is um, just um, add the or er, Monterey Jack cheese on the top that like, you know, two pa or a pound of cheese isn't enough. So you need to take and put two cups of Monterey, which is another bag of cheese. So three bags of cheese. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle that on real quick. And I would highly recommend, um, I'm going to put this on a cookie sheet um, in case it decides to um, expand. I'm not sure with the corn tortillas if it'll expand a lot. Um, so just so we don't have a mess in your um, oven. I am going to do that just to be safe because I don't want the burning sort of food in my oven. So. When it's all said and done, ooh, got blurry. Um, that's what it should look like. Um, I think it said that you could also add like a little bit of like cilantro or parsley or something on the top if you wanted to decorate it up a little. Um, but for my house, we're just gonna go with that. And then just throw it in the oven for 30 minutes and you should be all good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry for all the countertop views. Um, yeah, we'll be, talk to you soon, bye.